Hey, Jordan here, welcome back. So in the last lesson, uh, we used Namecheck to research our domain name and the social usernames, which we found were available. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to purchase the domain name using godaddy.com. And the reason I use GoDaddy is because once you purchase the domain name, they have all the tools you'll need um, when you're setting up the DNS records, the CNAME. Um, if those don't make sense to you right now, they will in future lessons but it just makes it really simple when you're setting up your website. Now I've already purchased jordanoutside.com, but I'm purchasing Jordan with an E-N, so this is a misspelling. Um, and then um, if this was your original domain name, you would just wanna put in the correct spelling. In my case, I'm gonna purchase this one just so you can see how this process works. So I'm gonna click search domains. And you'll notice in the top right that I am logged into my GoDaddy account. And so it's, it shows that yes, your domain's available, buy it before someone else does for $11.99. So I just click add to cart. Okay, now it's added. Now I go to this button, continue to cart. Okay, so this is where GoDaddy's gonna do a little bit of upselling. So um, you're gonna go through and just answer these questions. So um, do I want privacy protection? That's an extra $10 per year. Um, ultimate protection security or no thanks. In this case, it's got my name in it. I am the person on my travel lifestyle website, so I don't need privacy protection. So I'm gonna click no thanks. And then it says start your website for free. We're not gonna be using um, GoDaddy's website services, so uh, we uncheck that. And then create an email address that matches your domain. We're not gonna use GoDaddy services, uh, so we'll just leave that at no thanks. And then we'll click continue to cart. Okay, so if you don't have an account already set up with GoDaddy, you'll need to set one up. Um, in this case, it's already got uh, the credit card that I use on file. And the default is to register that domain name for five years. In this case, I'm only gonna do it for one year. So now it brings the price down to $11.99. It gives me a reminder about privacy protection. I'm not gonna add that. So basically with, um, with taxes, it's gonna be $12.17. And then I just go to complete purchase. And then it uh, gives me the confirmation page. It says, thank you for your order. We've emailed the receipt to your email address. Totals $12.17. I can view the receipt. And, uh, and now I'm gonna go to manage my domains. And now you'll see at the bottom that I've got jordanoutside.com and then the new one I just purchased with the EN, jordanoutside.com. So you can see how easy that was to purchase the domain name for our travel lifestyle website. So uh, one last thing that I'm gonna show you, um, in this case, I purchased a misspelling of my domain name. And so I wanna forward this uh, misspelling to the correct spelling. So I'm just gonna click on jordanoutside.com and then I'm gonna go to manage DNS. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the forwarding section. So I'm gonna click add. And then it's asking me um, if I wanna forward it, I'm gonna put HTTPS, because my site will be a secure site. And then it's asking where I wanna forward it to. So then I'm gonna put in the correct spelling. So it's gonna to forward to jordanoutside.com. This will be permanent, forward only and then um, the update my name servers and DNS settings to support this change. We'll click yes, and then let's click save. And then it gives me this notice, features may be unavailable while we process your updates. Some updates require confirmation. Please check your inbox for a possible confirmation email. So I'll just check that to see if there's anything I need to uh, confirm. But now when I scroll down, it shows that it's gonna forward to jordanoutside.com. So if someone misspells, and they put the E in instead of A N in Jordan, um, it'll go to the correct uh, domain. So um, that's the lesson on how to purchase your domain name. And then this little added bonus that if you're purchasing a misspelling of your domain name, how to forward it um, to the correct spelling of your domain name. All right, that wraps it up for purchasing your domain name for your travel lifestyle website. And in the next lesson, we're gonna start setting up your business email for that website. Again, this is Jordan and I'll see you in the next lesson.